The United States national baseball team is the national baseball team of the United States in international level baseball competitions. The team is currently ranked first in the world by the International Baseball Federation. Team USA won the Olympic Baseball Tournament in 2000 and the World Baseball Classic in 2017. The U.S. was an inaugural member of the World Baseball Classic, making its debut in the first edition. In their first three appearances in the WBC, the best finish for the Americans was a fourth place showing in 2009. Finally in 2017, a new team managed by Jim Leyland, and led by the likes of Adam Jones, Marcus Stroman, and Eric Hosmer, won the tournament. The U.S. beat Japan in the semi-finals, and topped previously undefeated Puerto Rico in the final by an 8-0 score to win the WBC title for the first time ever. Current roster Primary national team tournament records World Baseball Classic In June 2005, Major League Baseball announced the formation of the World Baseball Classic, a 16-nation international competition to be held in March of 2006 for the first time. The tournament is the first of its kind to have the national teams of IBAF's member federations feature professional players from the major leagues around the world, including Major League Baseball. Topic. Record by team Topic. 2006, inaugural classic On January 17, 2006, the United States announced its provisional 60-man roster 52 players in all, and whittled down the squad mixed with youth and experience to 30 players on February 14, 2006. Sixteen of the 30 major league clubs were represented on the 2006 squad, including multiple representatives from the New York Yankees four, Houston Astros three, Washington Nationals three, Atlanta Braves two, Boston Red Sox two, Chicago Cubs two, Colorado Rockies two, Houston Astros two, and Texas Rangers two. The fact that four Yankees were selected for the squad irked Yankees owner George Steinbrenner, who was opposed to the WBC being held in the middle of spring training to the point where at his team's complex in Tampa, Florida, he posted a sign apologizing for their absence and mocking the tournament in the process. Major League Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig promptly ordered him to take down the sign the next day. Manager Buck Martinez brought his 17 years of professional experience as a major league catcher, and one-plus seasons as Toronto Blue Jays skipper to the U.S. team. Former big league managers Davey Johnson and Marcel Lackerman served as hitting coach and pitching coach, respectively. Along with fellow North American rivals Canada and Mexico, the U.S. hosted the South Africa. Round 1 games were held at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona and Scottsdale Stadium in Scottsdale, Arizona. The top two teams advanced to Angel Stadium of Anaheim in Anaheim, California. Despite a surprising loss to Canada, the United States advanced to the second round via tiebreaker. However, second round losses to South Korea and Mexico allowed Japan to advance over the Americans via tiebreak. Topic. 2009, America's second best finish The United States competed in Pool C of the 2009 World Baseball Classic along with Italy, Venezuela and host Canada. The U.S. won the pool opener against Canada by a score of 6, and secured advancement into Round 2 by defeating Venezuela in a 15-6 slugfest. Venezuela, however, came back to defeat the U.S. in the championship game of Pool C, 5-3. On March 14, in their first match of Round 2 against Puerto Rico, in Miami, Florida's Dolphin Stadium, the United States was mercy ruled for the first time in international competition, losing 11-1 in seven innings. Adam Dunn and Captain Derek Jeter were among the ones to voice their distaste with the severe beating. Manager Davey Johnson even stated, I should have stayed there referencing a wedding he was at earlier in the day. 
The United States came on strong the following day against the surprising Netherlands, who had already eliminated a tournament superpower, the Dominican Republic, jumping out to a 6-0 lead in the fourth inning, and winning 9-3. With Puerto Rico losing to Venezuela 2–0 the following day, the U.S. would face Puerto Rico once again in the qualifying round. The loser would be eliminated from the tournament. With Puerto Rico leading 5–3 in the ninth inning, singles by Shane Victorino and Brian Roberts and walks by Jimmy Rollins and Kevin Uchillis cut the lead to 5–4 for New York Mets third baseman David Wright, who looped a barely fair single into Wright that brought in Roberts and Rollins to win the game, 6–5, advancing to the semi-finals while eliminating Puerto Rico. The United States would go on to lose to Japan 9–4 in the second semi-final. Topic 2013 Stiffer competition America misses the finals again The United States team competed in Pool D of the 2013 World Baseball Classic along with Italy, Canada and Mexico. The US team lost to Mexico in the first round 5 to 2 but later won two games against Canada and Italy, securing their place for the second round along with Italy on Pool 2. On March 12, they beat Puerto Rico 7-1, which then proceeded to face off against the Dominican Republic on March 14, losing 3-1 where they face off Puerto Rico once again the next day, as Puerto Rico beat the American team 4-3 as revenge for being eliminated from the 2009 World Baseball Classic, thus eliminating them from the tournament. Topic: 2017 First Championship. The Americans won their first game over Colombia, 3-2, in 10 innings on a walk-off single by Adam Jones. After losing to the Dominican Republic after having a five-run lead, the U.S. defeated Canada to reach the second round. In the second round the Americans won the first game of the round defeating Venezuela 4-2. In the second game the U.S. was defeated by Puerto Rico 6-5 after giving up four runs in the first inning. The U.S. then defeated the Dominican Republic to advance to the championship round. In the championship round semifinals on March 21, the Americans defeated Japan 2-1 to advance to their first ever appearance in the final. In the final on March 22, the U.S. once again faced Puerto Rico. The U.S. however, ended up winning 8-0 capturing the first ever World Baseball Classic title for the United States. Following the conclusion of the tournament, Eric Hosmer, Christian Yelich, and Marcus Stroman were named to the 2017 All-World Baseball Classic team. 2018. Olympic Games Although single exhibition games had been played in conjunction with five previous Olympics, the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles was the first to feature a tournament in the program, and also the first time that the sport was played in Olympics held in the United States. Eight teams competed in the tournament held at Dodger Stadium. Cuba, after winning the gold medal at the 1983 Pan American Games, was to participate, but did not as a result of the Soviet-led boycott. The U.S. national team finished second to Japan, however, no medals were given as baseball was a demonstration sport. Professional baseball players were introduced in 2000, though no active players from Major League Baseball have competed since then, and the Americans were forced to rely on minor leaguers. Cuba and some other nations used their strongest players, as they had no commitments with the MLB. The IOC cited the absence of the best players as the main reason for baseball being dropped from the Olympic program. Topic 2000: The United States wins gold. The U.S. won its only gold medal at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. Topic 2008: Final appearance for Olympic baseball. The United States qualified for the 2008 Summer Olympics by winning the American Qualifying Tournament. They won the bronze medal at the Beijing Games, finishing behind South Korea gold and Cuba silver. 
At the International Olympic Committee (IOC) meeting on July 8, 2005, baseball and softball were voted out of the 2012 Summer Olympics in London, becoming the first sports voted out of the Olympics since polo was eliminated from the 1936 Summer Olympics. Topic: <laughs> Amateur World Series and Baseball World Cup. The U.S. lost the inaugural Amateur World Series in 1938. The U.S. won its first Amateur World Series in 1973, and repeated a year later. In 1988, the Amateur World Series became the International Baseball Federation's IBAF World Cup. Since 1938, the U.S. has won 15 medals, 4 gold 1973, 1974, 2007, 2009, 7 silver 1938, 1969, 1970, 1972, 1978, 1988, 2001, and 4 bronze 1939, 1940, 1982, 1984. The U.S. was usually represented by college players in these tournaments, while Cuba used its best players. Topic 2007. The U.S. was in Group A of the 2007 IBAF World Cup, along with Republic of China, Japan, Mexico, Panama, Italy, Spain, and South Africa. The U.S. went 6-1 to win their group, with their only loss coming on November 9, 2007 against Italy. It was the U.S.'s first loss to Italy in 21 years and the first time it ever lost to Italy with professional players, as the team consisted of minor league prospects. This one loss, however, would be their only. The U.S. went on to beat Korea, Netherlands and Cuba to capture the gold. Topic. 2009 In round 1 of the 2009 Baseball World Cup, the US 2-1 finished second in group E and advanced with first place Venezuela 3-0. In round 2, the US was joined by the nine other first and second place teams from round 1, four wild card teams and the two principal host teams, Italy and the Netherlands. The 16 teams were divided into Groups F and G. The U.S. 7-0 defeated each of the other seven teams in Group G in Round 3. The first four teams in Group F were renamed Group 1 and the first four teams in Group G were renamed Group 2. The U.S. finished first in Group 2 with a record of 7-0. Cuba finished first in Group 1, with a 5-2 record. In the final round, Group 1 and 2's fourth place teams competed for overall seventh place, the two third place teams competed for overall fifth place, and the two second place teams competed for the bronze medal. In the gold medal game, the U.S. defeated Cuba, 10 5. Tournament awards were given to Justin Smoke MVP and Todd Redmond best one, loss average pitcher. Smoke first base was also named to the tournament all-star team along with John Weber outfield and Terry Tiffy designated hitter. Topic Intercontinental Cup The Intercontinental Cup is a tournament between the members of the IBAF. It was first held in 1973 in Italy and was held every other year following until 1999. Since there has been a competition in 2002 and 2006, both of which the US has chosen to sit out. The tournament has been dominated by Cuba, who has won 10 gold and 3 silver in the 16 tournaments. Japan is second in medal ranking, with 2 gold, 5 silver and 5 bronze, and the U.S. is third, with 2 gold, 4 silver and 2 bronze. The United States use college players in this tournament, while Cuba sends its best players. Future big leaguers have competed in the Intercontinental Cup for the U.S. including Joe Carter, Terry Francona, Mickey Mirandina, John Olerud and Robin Ventura. Topic: Pan American Games. The U.S. and Cuba have been arch rivals at the Pan American Games ever since the event began in 1951. The U.S. has finished second behind Cuba eight of the 12 times they have brought home the gold. Likewise, when the U.S. won the gold medal at the 1967 Pan American Games, Cuba finished second. The U.S. roster is usually composed of promising college players, while Cuba is able to send its best players. In total, the U.S. has won one gold medal, ten silver medals and three bronze.
The only games the U.S. failed to medal in were 1979 and 1995. For the 1995 games, the U.S. did not send their national team, but instead the St. John's University baseball team, who finished 0-4 against the international all-star teams. Harlem Baseball Week World Port Tournament Topic: Collegiate National Team. USA Baseball also fields a collegiate national team, which has 22 members of top collegiate baseball players in the country, consisting of five infielders, four outfielders, two catchers, nine pitchers, and a pair of two-way players. The team competes in exhibition games across the U.S. and overseas against teams from across the world, including teams from Canada, Chinese Taipei, Taiwan, and the Netherlands. The 2009 team won the World Baseball Challenge in Canada. Players who took the field for the collegiate national team and have gone on to Major League Baseball success include such notables as Jim Abbott, Chris Bryant, Troy Gloss, Todd Helton, Ryan Howard, Barry Larkin, Tino Martinez, Dustin Pedroia, David Price, Houston Street, Mark Teixeira, Troy Tulowitzki, Trey Turner, Jason Veritek, Carlos Rodon, and Ryan Zimmerman. Other national teams The USA won the gold medal in the first ever World Games in 1981 with a roster of college players. Franklin Stubbs, Odeby McDowell, Spike Owen and some others would go on to play in the MLB. USA Baseball also fields 18U, 15U and 12U national baseball teams. Former national teams include 16U and 14U national teams. USA Baseball also hosts two national team development programs in the age divisions of 17U and 14U. The selection processes for these programs can be found on the official website of USA Baseball. See also United States Women's National Baseball Team USA Baseball USA Baseball National Training Complex Major League Baseball Puerto Rico National Baseball Team Baseball at the 1981 World Games Topic Notes Topic External Links Media related to United States national baseball team at Wikimedia Commons.